Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper and I have tons of wine bottles as probably a lot of you do who may have been in quarantine. <laughs> uh, I don't drink wine but these were given to me. I have a ton of these so I wanted to decorate one. Actually a lot of this stuff um, was given to me. This lovely napkin here I wanted to use. And then I had some of these lilacs that I had used one. So I have these others that I thought would be really cute. So I'm just going to take these, this one right off of there. And now I have this set of four. That's what I will be putting in my vase along with some of these little lights. Now these, you can find them on Amazon and I'll put a link down below for you. And what else do I have? I've got some ribbon. I thought this was very pretty with maybe some lacy ribbon. And then I have some sequins as well. So let's go ahead and decorate this. I wanted to take this guy here and find the prettiest one, which I think this and this are the exact same. So I'm gonna just take my scissors here and I'm going to cut them as best as possible. And I'm just gonna cut right below that line. It gives me a nice square and it's not gonna give me those pleats. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. just going as straight as possible down and if you get crooked don't worry about it you can always use the other side or you can um, just use it as straight as possible but this one is not straight at all so I'm just gonna make it as straight as I can was not straight at all <laughs> and if you have trouble getting it very straight you can either use a straight um, a rotary wheel or you could make it curvy it doesn't have to be straight it could be however you'd like so I'm just gonna take that piece there and if you could see we've got some little white edges and that's why I'm cutting those off but I want this to be somewhat straight. I just love little mixed media projects like this that are quick and easy. And I'm gonna take this, and I believe that there are two layers. So I'm just gonna see. I'm not real positive these are two layers in fact I'm gonna look on here I'm gonna look on this other one just to make sure maybe I'm wrong maybe it's only one layer which is perfect because then you already have a white background so I'm gonna take that and then I'm just gonna really quickly grab a piece of paper here just to protect my surface because I'm now going to take my um, acid free spray adhesive and it's got a permanent or temporary bond depending on if you let it um, dry if you put it on wet it's going to have a permanent bond and if you put it on dry it's going to have a temporary bond so if you let it dry and then put it somewhere it won't stick you'll be able to remove it okay so I'm just gonna quickly and you can see that came through and now we've got that bonded 
So while it is still wet, because I definitely want this to be permanent, I'm gonna take that bottle and I'm gonna put it on here, right in the middle. And I'm just gonna push it down. Look at how pretty that is. And I could take the other side as well and cut a piece off and put it right here, but I'm okay with it not being complete all the way around because remember, I'm gonna have some lights in there. So now we've got that down. And if you want to cover it up, you can cover it up with some Mod Podge if you'd like. For time's sake, I'm not gonna do that. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna add some ribbon to this. So I'm gonna take this ribbon I'm going to put it all the way around. So I'm just going to cut off a piece there. And I think my hot glue gun is ready to go. It is. And right in the center here, I'm going to put a line. And then I'm going to take that ribbon and put it right there and then that way I can go all the way around I'm just gonna pull it right around and that way I'm not getting burnt either we're going to do this side as well. Making sure you do not hot glue yourself. And then we're going to do this side. and match them up really nicely. And look at that, super pretty. And then we're gonna do the same thing to the bottom. And I think the bottom I'm gonna pull upward. So that one I had the lace going downward. This one I'm gonna have the lace going upward. I'm just gonna look the other way too. Either way looks nice, but I still think I want it to go upward. So doing the same thing here, right in the middle. and then right on the edge. There we go. And we're gonna go all the way around this way. And this is on glass. So the hot glue does dry really fast. Well, I didn't make that one go all the way around, but that's okay. It'll still work out really well. And we're gonna go through here and add some hot glue. And then I'm just gonna cut that extra little bit off. Oh. I'm 
see what I mean it dries really fast on that glass so and be careful you can barely tell so we're good so now we've got this and I think what I'd like to do is add a few of these sequins because look at how pretty these two colored sequins are going to go. So I'm just going to take the two colors that I want out. And these are just from the Dollar Tree. They make them in small and large, but I wanted to use those large. Where they actually have openings so you can pull them open. So I'm going to take a few out, more than I needed, <laughs> and then I'm going to do the same here. And you could put buttons, you could put flowers, whatever you'd like, but I really wanted to keep this like purple and um, flowery because we're going to be putting those lilacs in there. All right, so I am going to now, I'm going to take what you can get at the Dollar Tree is the tacky glue like this. I just happen to have a nice, big, huge one, or you can always use some jot glue, or you can use your glue gun as well. So whatever you'd like, but I'm just going to go ahead. Ooh, that's a big one. And just put a few dots of glue here and there. Okay. And then I'm going to take my Take Your Pick tool, which uh, you can buy on my online store at stampinup.com. It's at actually jeanpersani.stampinup.net. And you pick that little guy up and then you just put it where you want it. And I put a lot of glue on there, but that's okay. And I'm going to get one of those light pink ones and put that over here. And this will dry clear, so I'm okay with that. Get another. If you do not have this tool yet, you should have one. They are amazing. Well, that one's only half, but let's get one right here, and then let's get one more of these pink, and then just look, see if that's enough for you. I think we want to add a little bit more, maybe two more, and I think I'm going to put Another one here. And we'll do one more. Oh, that's a lot of glue. I want to get another purple here. And a light pink one here. Again, a lot of glue, but it will dry. And I think that is so pretty. We can also put some gems on. I'm gonna set that there. And I'm pretty sure I have. I do, I have my little gems here. These are the, um, Pretty Peacock Rhinestones, again, from Stampin' Up! that you can purchase on my online store. And then, again, just going to take that Take Your Pick tool and move these around and really put some really pretty purple in here. And this is just adding little accents. No rhyme or reason to these. Oh, 
so pretty. All right. And while I have that out, I'm just going to do some clear. I actually have some really pretty pink ones already colored. So I'm going to grab those. They're nice light pink. Oh, yes. And you can put them right next to each other. So you see a sequence and one of those little blings. They're going to look very pretty next to each other. And just a little bit of accent. I'm just looking around to see. Is there one more? And I think we will go. Hmm. Let's go right there. Really, really pretty. Very stunning. All right. So I am now going to let all that dry. I'm going to stick this guy in here, and that'll give you the lights. I'll put the flowers in there, and I will take a picture for you. Please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you click right here to subscribe to watch more DIYs, because I have more wine bottles and so much Dollar Tree stash that I'm using right now. All right, beauties, have a wonderful day, and I will see you shortly. Bye!